so this is just physics 2024 electromagnetic theory part a mcq one marks question so in this question it is given that a solid sphere of radius r has a volume charge density rho is rho naught sine 2 theta and we have to see how does the leading term in the electrostatic potential depend on the distance r far away from the charged sphere so we have to find the approximate dependence so we will use the multipole expansion method so here we have a sphere of radius r and its charge density rho is rho naught sine of 2 theta this is given and point p we have where we have to find the potential this is r far away from the charge distribution so r is far far greater than r now according to multipole expansion so let's see what will be the formula for multipole expansion so according to multipole expansion multipole expansion this potential vr is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught now first term first dependence is 1 by r we call this as monopole term and this integral is rho r dash d tau dash where da dash represents the position of source charge and this r represents the position of field so and second term is given by dependence is 1 by r square and the second term is r dash cos theta dash rho r dash d tau dash similarly you have a third term also that dependence is 1 by r cube and so on now if we have to see the approximate dependence so we have to calculate these integral monopole term and dipole term so let us first see what will be this integral rho r dash d tau dash so since it's a volume integral in three dimension so it's a triple integral rho is given as rho naught sine of 2 theta dash again dash for source charge and d tau is given by r square r dash square sin theta dash dr dash d theta dash and d phi dash where r dash varies from 0 to capital r theta dash 0 to pi and phi dash 0 to 2 pi so if we calculate this integral rho naught is constant r dash square this integral will give you r cube by 3 d phi will give you 2 pi now with respect to theta this integral is given by if we write sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta so this is 2 sine square theta dash cos theta dash d theta dash 0 to pi and we can easily check that this integral will be this integral will be 0 so first term will be 0 so now we have to check for the second term so second term is again volume integral r dash cos theta dash then you have rho r dash d tau dash so this will be triple integral let's write r dash cos theta dash now this is rho naught sine of 2 theta dash into r dash square sine theta dash dr dash d theta dash and d phi dash again limit will be 0 to r theta dash is 0 to pi and phi dash is 0 to 2 pi so if we see this integral now rho naught is again constant now this will be r dash cube so that will give you r power 4 by 4 
d5 integral will give you 2 pi and if we see integral with respect to theta dash so if we write sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta so that will give you 2 sine square theta dash cos theta dash d theta dash and this we can write as rho naught r power 4 by 4 into pi 0 to pi now this 2 we can multiply here and let's write it as uh, this will be 4 times 2 sin theta this is 2 sin theta theta dash cos theta dash whole square d theta dash so if you expand that will give you 4 times sin square theta dash cos square theta dash so that will be given by rho naught r power 4 by 4 into pi 0 to pi and this is sin 2 theta dash whole square d theta dash and you can easily check this integral will be non zero so if we have to see the main dependence so main dependence is leading order term is 1 by r square so we can easily say v is main dependence term is 1 by r square so option c is correct